We're in LA right now. Uh, at the open workouts for the Crawford Madrimov open workout. I doubt Santa Monica's ever seen something like this, so I know I've never have, you know, growing up in the city, but uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It's different. Normally we're inside sweaty, stinky gyms, so out, outside in the breeze and the, the sunlight, you know, people walking by, it's different for the fighters. So for our fighters, I think it's pretty good, and for the fans as well. I like it personally. This is an incredible setting and, and one of the most stacked cards we've seen in quite some time. You know, from Terrence Crawford to Jared Anderson to Pitbull Cruz. Huge names, huge fights, 50-50 fights. Um, doesn't get much better for boxing fans. As a matchmaker, I always say to myself the old saying Teddy Brenner said, when I buy a ticket to see these fights, I'd buy four or five. I mean, it's that type of card. It doesn't get bigger than this. Jared Anderson has been dominant through 17 fights, but this is not a step up. This is a giant leap. This is a huge step up in competition against a big, strong, powerful guy in Martin Bacoli who knows how to cut off the ring, um, who, who, who moves a lot faster than his size would indicate. So Jared is in for an extremely tough fight, but if he passes this test on Saturday night, the sky's the limit and you know, contender and beyond for him. Most people come to the public workouts and they, uh, they try not to show anything. Well, other half, we come to the public workout trying to show it all. At the end of the day, is you gotta you gotta focus on the task at hand. You know, can't count those chickens before they hatch. So right now, we just 100% locked in and focused on Saturday night, and then we're worried about what comes after. But everybody knew a very very long time ago that Jerry Anderson had a bright future. You know, and it's only only gonna keep getting brighter. Um, so we know we got great things ahead, but for right now, we focused on Saturday night. That's the main focus. Here is the reigning and defending WBO International Heavyweight Champion, Jared, the real big baby, Anderson. Anderson and Bacoli is gonna be a slugfest. I don't think that fight goes the distance. Bacoli is looking to take his head off and Anderson is welcoming it. Uh, two total, total polar dif different uh, styles and personalities. Uh, you know, I, I like Anderson a little bit more. Uh, my colleagues disagree with me. They like Bacoli. But I like Anderson a little bit. Um, I think Bacoli's going to take him to a place he's never been before as a fighter. I think he's going to have to dig deep. He might get hurt. He might get knocked down. And then we're really going to see what Jared Anderson's made of. But I think he's the more talented fighter. Um, I think it's going to be a great fight. I think they're going to go to war uh, over the duration. And the winner is going to come out, I think, a real contender at heavyweight. You know, Jared looks the part of a heavyweight champion. He talks the part of heavyweight champion. Now he just needs the resume of heavyweight champion, those opportunities that come with getting to that level. One thing Jared's been saying for weeks now is that he wants an opponent that's going to stand in front of him. Martin McCauley is going to be there. He's going to want to bang. He's going to want to make this a, a physical fight. And, um, you know, it's almost like be careful what you wish for. Like, this is what he wants. Uh, now he has to do something with it. Jared is daring to be great. He wants to step up. I mean, Bacoli, you know, he's a puncher and he's got fast hands, man. And if Jared can get through him and rise to the occasion on Saturday, you know, it's bigger fight for him in the future. Yeah, you know, I've been following him for a long time, right? And I feel like every time you fought, you've always been like a, a big favorite because you're that good. Well, for some reason, this fight is super close, right? I, I don't see why, but a lot of people feel like it's going to be close. What should we expect Saturday night? Let us know. Expect a dominant performance. Expect us to be in that center of that ring. Expect us to be fighting, man. It ain't a boxing match. It ain't, we ain't moving around doing all the extra stuff. We're going straight to him. He's like, he's coming straight to us. So it should be an epic fight. It should be something y'all should love to watch. You are widely considered the guy that could be the next American heavyweight champion, the best chance for a next American heavyweight champion. Is there any added pressure with that? No. And now let's welcome the three-weight world champion and the current WBA Super, WBC, and WBO welterweight champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. I think it's Terrence Crawford daring to be great in another, another weight class, another weight division, try to become a four division champion and put his name amongst the greatest. You know, you can put your name up with Canelo Alvarez, a four division world champion, Roberto Duran, a four division world champion, and so many others. So that right there is always a feather on your head. And the fact that he's undisputed in two weight classes, I mean, he's one of the all time greatest. And uh, now he's doing it against an unknown, dangerous fighter. 
uh, one of these Uzbek fighters that, that are very strong, very smart. They have that amateur pedigree and the footwork. So, you know, moving up in weight, we're going to see how Bud able to take those, those punches and that strength from a naturally bigger fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome from Kiva, Uzbekistan. Here is the reigning and defending WBA super welterweight champion of the world, Israel, the dream Madrimov! Anybody that's overlooking Madrimov is making a huge mistake. He's fought top flight competition from the second he turned pro. One of the best amateurs we've seen in quite some time. He's the naturally bigger man, the naturally stronger man, the natural 154 pounder. Uh, Terrence Crawford, an all-time great fighter, uh, but all-time great fighters lose when they step up to a weight class that might not be natural for them. So the question is, is Terrence Crawford a natural junior middleweight? Um, against a guy like Madrimov, we're really going to find that out on Saturday night. I'm eager to see Terrence and uh, you know how he looks going into 54. It's not going to be drained. It looks like he's making the weight comfortably. The question is, is his power going to carry to 54 when he fights a natural 54 pounder like Madrimov? I know Terrence has a lot of experience sparring bigger guys. He spars light heavyweights. Uh, I've seen it with my own two eyes. And he's a strong dude in general. So I have a feeling that power is going to carry to 154. But that's the big question for most people. You said that this guy, Madrimov, you believe is the best at 154. What kind of fight are you expecting from him? I'm, I'm expecting him to come out and uh, do everything he can to try to throw me. But like I said before, I'm going to keep saying it again. This is the Terrence Crawford era, and I'm taking that belt.